I thought I'd do it quickly since I'm working on some bigger projects that are going to take some time. So I wanted to talk about App Raven. And if that's all you needed to know because you got ADHD and no patience to watch more of this video, then you can just go down to the pinned comment, get App Raven for yourself, and start tracking apps and app sales. Now, for those of you who wants to know more about the app and maybe get a little short history lesson here, well, just keep watching. You see, back in the day, we had something called App Shopper. It used to track apps for us. Specifically for a lot of people, it was used for tracking app sales. And there were quite a few of these sites back in the day because you used to be able to earn money from referrals. Basically, if someone bought an app through your link, Apple would basically pay you a percentage of the money they earned. And when they nuked that, the funding disappeared for all of these sites. And not only that, for a lot of iOS app-based blogs and channels and all kinds of stuff just disappeared overnight. And yeah, it was a devastating period also for the iOS music community as a whole because we lost some of our most favorite sites. Well, people still wanted to be able to track apps and app sales in particular, so they started looking for other alternatives. And of course, we found some, and one that I found was App Sliced, which I used for many years. But now that site has also shut down. However, that's not quite true, because App Sliced actually turned into App Raven. The first thing I want to bring up with App Raven is the fact that it is a freemium app. So you can download it for free and use a lot of its features without really feeling that you have to pay for anything. And if you choose to go that route, you can still create an account, you can still do collections and wish lists and track apps and app sales, and it won't cost you anything apart from you having to watch some ads. Now, if you do want to opt in for a pro version of App Raven, it will set you back about 30 bucks for a one time purchase. And yes, there are more in app purchases here. Some of them allow you to actually subscribe to the app and that way provide continuous support for the development team. However, if you just want to do that one time payment, it's 30 bucks and that's it. Now, this pro version will not only remove ads completely, it will also provide the user with a bunch of really useful features. One that I want to highlight is the fact that you can track in-app purchases and also get notified for when in-app purchases go on sale. Another thing I want to highlight is that this pro version allows you to set up your own custom filters that you can then get notified about, and that's really powerful too. Now, in the end, whether you're using a pro paid version of App Raven or a free one, you still have access to a good amount of core features that I feel are needed for an app like this. The fact that the search engine is pretty good in here. You can search for tag words so you can find similar apps very easily. You can search for developers. It's a really good system and there's so many ways that you can hone in on what you want to find. And I guess that experience is even better when you're paying for a pro version of App Raven. Now, I also want to add that App Raven has full native support for both iPhone and iPad. So for the iPad app, you don't have to deal with a windowed portrait mode of an iPhone app. I hate it when apps do that. No, it will actually use the entire screen. Now, again, whether you're paying or not for App Raven, you can still make your own collections and fill them up with apps. So if you have favorite collections you want to show off publicly, then you can do that. I've already started, even though I haven't had my account for long, but I decided to start with the type of apps that I use on a daily basis, whether I'm making videos or materials for videos, or if I'm doing music or recording audio or editing audio. I will keep working on my account and at some point I will do the same thing as Nino Beats did, another really prominent person within the iOS music community making space. They have actually made a collection which encapsulates all of the apps that they own, which is an insane task and I don't know how long it took for them to make it, but I want to make one of those. I'm really jealous. Wait a minute, this thing shows you how much you actually paid? I'm not so sure I want to make that list now. Now, if you're asking, can you follow other users on this platform, then yes, there is a social aspect to App Raven. I mean, it's not your new Facebook or Threads or Instagram or even Blue Sky, but there are some social functions you can follow and you can like, and you can also comment on stuff in the community tab here. 
Who knows, in time, maybe this will become a new chatting platform based around apps. That would be cool, right? To end this, I want to say that it's kind of annoying having to do all of that work I did with App Sliced, you know, setting up my account and doing all my favorites and all of that. But the App Raven is a nice enough platform and I really like the way that the search engine works in here and how you can do these tags and all of that. It's really, really nice and I do recommend it. And I wanted to do the video with the free version to show you that it's really usable even if you haven't opted in for the pro version. But even I can see value in the pro version and I don't feel like 30 bucks for a one-time purchase for something like this is being unreasonable. And as soon as I'm getting paid for the next job, I'm just opting in for it. And you don't have to take my word for it. You could, if you create your own account over at AppRaven, follow me and you'll see as soon as I'm pro verified or when I've done the purchase. And I'll be posting a picture about it or some comment about it over at our Discord where you can join up. You can find a link to both our Discord and also to AppRaven down in the pinned comment and in the description of this video. And as usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Same.